Are you tired of crispy tips on your plants? You don't have to be, because I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. Obviously, there is many reasons why tips like these can happen. However, it's usually low humidity. But the thing is, we can't all afford to just rise our humidity, because number one, very high humidity is not good for your lungs. And number two, some of us get a lot of mold, like on my walls. So humidity won't help. And here is the controversial part. What I'm gonna do is what some might call a bit radical, shall we say. I can't tell you how to stop getting brown tips because it happens to all of us and I still get brown leaves in my 90% humidity bins, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them. I have a few testing bunnies today. I do that for a lot of my plants, like maybe once for a few weeks. But today I'm gonna show you my Alocasia Mellow. Oh, you can see my my bracelet. Oh, what is that? It's a this episode's bracelet. <gasps> this is my Mellow, as you can see. It's a bit crispy, but I love how it looks. The second one is this Epipramnum Amplissimum. This plant is really beautiful, but it gets very small kind of yellow brown tips that you know we're gonna take care of oh my god how cool is this and just so you see that i am not doing this to only like small plants this is my el choco red as you can see this one has quite a, a burn to it i mean it happens right let's put this right here because I don't have space anymore. I have many more, but I'm gonna show you also this golden pothos because leaves like this are a thing. They don't really bother me this much. And I think this is going to be enough to demonstrate for you. So what you're gonna need, very simple. Don't fight me, a pair of scissors. You all know where I'm going with this. So I'm just gonna start with this one that you can see already. What you do is you cut the brown parts off just like that, okay? Uh, you're gonna say, oh, it hurts the plant, oh, mm -hmm. the plant does not care if it loses a leaf, like, it's not ideal for it, but if the leaf is brown, it doesn't help the plant. Just remove it, you can try to make the cuts more natural-like, to kind of follow the shape of the plant the best you can. I'm not gonna cut this part, because it's way too, like, close to the vein, and it's going inside, and it's gonna be ugly. Because then you get leaves like this. You can see this has been a victim of this. But I don't want to do that here. And uh, just... That's it. I think this is much better. Many of you are not going to like this, but that's just how I do. We have another one right here. So that would be it for this one. One thing to keep in mind is that this is not a solution forever. The tips are gonna get brown again, but it's going to look good for like a few days. And in maybe a week or two, you're gonna get kind of the same amount. You can just repeat the process. It's still gonna take you months and months and months to cut off a full leaf. That would be so much. Moving on to victim number two. I'm gonna lower y'all. Yes, it's time for you to go. I don't like doing this with my mellow because it's a, it's a very thick leaf and it's very just it hurts me to do this but they have been looking crusty musty dry and ugly so I got to I got to do this and I just leave a little part because honestly it's okay hear me out for this I have tried years ago to put wet glue on the tips but I don't remember how that turned out and I don't really care enough to try it so you can try that yourself, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this little bunch of photos. It's it's really like, that's insane how this much has grown. And uh, I'm gonna do the same process again. This is a leaf before, and this is a leaf after. Yes, when you look at it, the shape is so irregular that you know it's, you know, been cut. However, in a bunch of them, like, you wouldn't even notice. Also, one more reason to keep your tips trimmed is a lot of pests like to get on the drier parts of the leaves. Maybe you can see. I don't think so. There's there's little black dots on the back. I think that's a, a type of pest that I have here. Um, so yeah, removing them just kind of helps you a little bit. And I just go in and I cut the ugly parts. 
So when you're cutting this, you do want to keep the main veins in mind. We have this middle one, so I, when I cut it down, I don't go like this because then you cut the main vein and I think that's going to make it dry out faster. I think my, my opinion only. I'm not a professional, but that's just kind of how I see this. Obviously, on highly variegated plants and the leaves, uh, there can be way more of this brown because this part is useless for the plant when it's not producing any energy. If the part of the leaf is not producing food because it's fully white, plant a lot of times will try to get rid of this just by drying it out. That's normal. That happens with the uh, monstera's elbows. Just trim them right off, you know? Yeah, so this one has little bits of pests. And yeah, so I have a few leaves that are ugly like this. I could go ahead and just cut the entire leaf off, but I don't feel like doing that. This looks much better now. And I have to be quiet because my mom is really... And she says that I'm very, very loud. You can also shape your cut so they look like a normal tip. So you just go from one side in a diagonal and from another side in diagonal. That's all for me today. I was quick and simple and I hope you learned something new and your tips aren't going to be dry anymore. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.